We may not see the next iPhones for another couple of months, but the software they'll launch with is already available for the masses to try. I'm Hayato Houston with Pocket Now, and let's take a look at the iOS 9 public beta. From the surface, iOS 9 may not look a whole lot different from iOS 7 or 8, but as it turns out, it brings a whole lot of new features to the table. Some of the biggest changes are made in Siri. There's a new glowing bar at the bottom, and the familiar Siri tone has been replaced with a quick vibration, but aside from the design, Siri feels a lot more contextually aware now. You can ask location-based questions, and even things like show me photos from last Monday. The task switcher has seen a makeover of its own, where the card style view is similar to WebOS or Windows Phone, and it makes it a little easier to see what's going on in your apps. The keyboard has also been slightly tweaked, finally differentiating upper and lowercase letters. Apple Maps now has transit information, at least in select areas, and is fully integrated with Siri, meaning you can ask for directions via bus or metro. It's also a lot easier to find places of interest with Apple Maps now, with highlights to restaurants, services, and more. Tapping a category's bubble will expand into more specific options, and every listing is matched with Yelp ratings when available. The Notes app has been updated to support more input methods, it feels like a much more useful service now. You can add photos from your gallery, as well as capture new ones directly from the app, and you can even draw memos with your finger. You can also organize your notes into folders now, and there's a recently deleted folder just in case you change your mind on a deleted memo. A few settings have been changed as well. The battery section now offers a low power mode, and a more detailed breakdown of your battery usage. Jumping into photos and camera, you can now manually adjust the resolution of your videos with the option to bump from the default 1080p 30 frames per second up to 1080p 60 frames per second. In Touch ID and Passcode, you now have the option for a 6 digit PIN versus the traditional 4 digits for a touch of added security. Then there's the News app, which is, in itself, new. Just like Flipboard, you select from a number of genres or even specific sites that you visit most often, and the service curates your feed to suit your preferences. Of course, you can still explore other categories of news as well, and finding exactly the right feed is just a quick search away. Of course, this is just a quick hands-on, and there are plenty more features in iOS 9, so go out and download it for yourself, it's easy. But before you go, subscribe to PocketNow if you want to see more tech videos like this, and visit us at PocketNow.com. This has been Hayato Huseman, and until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you around.